In this video, I will walk you through how to install and set up Gerobi on Linux. To start, download the Gerobi package. To do this, navigate to gerobi.com in a browser, select Downloads and Licenses in the navigation bar, and click Gerobi Software. On the Downloads page, scroll down until you find the Linux 64 Four package for Groby Optimizer version 11. Click it to begin downloading. Once the package finishes downloading, open a terminal window. We will first move that package we just downloaded to the slash opt directory. Next, let's head into the slash opt directory with the cd command. Here we will unzip and extract the Groby 11.00 directory using the tar command. Now we will set some environment variables so our system knows where to find the executables included in the Groby installation. First set the Groby home folder to slash opt slash Groby 11.00 slash Linux 64. Next, modify the path environment variable to include the bin subdirectory of the Groby home folder. Lastly, modify the ld library path environment variable to include the lib subdirectory of the Groby home folder. Note that for these environment variables to be set persistently, you should add these commands to your bashrc file or the equivalent shell script file for your Linux distribution. Now we will set up a license file on our machine. I'll assume you already have a Groby license in your account. If you are an academic user, you can request an academic license on the Groby for Academics webpage. To see your licenses, click My Account to be taken to the Groby portal. Here, click Licenses. Find the ID of the license you would like to set up on your machine and click install. I'll note here that if you are setting up a WLS license, you will instead click a button that says open, which will take you to our license manager where you can set up an API key and download a license file for your WLS license. Copy the grb git key command in the dialog box, return to the terminal window and paste the grb git key command you just copied then hit enter. If you are trying to set up a license file for an academic license, this grb git key command will only work if you are connected to your university's network, either on site at the university or by using a VPN connection that routes all internet traffic through the university network. Hit enter to store the groby.lick license file in the default location. The last step is to test our groby installation. We will do this by running groby cl the Groby command line tool. In the terminal, type Groby underscore CL and hit enter. We do not see any errors, which indicates Groby is properly installed and successfully located our license file. We can use the Groby CL command line tool to solve one of the example models included in the Groby installation, which also works as expected. Thanks so much for watching and happy optimizing.